Okay, um, here's the shivery emblem that I was telling you about. This is basically how big I wanted to make it. I wanted it to kind of stand out, especially with the Corvette uh, letters in between it. So they'll go, they'll go right through here, all the way across, and probably protrude that about three or four inches on either side. So what I did is I'm going to show you how to do checkers, my style. It's a little bit easier than trying to uh, cut and replace, cut and replace. What I did is I laid out the shimmy of them, just like you see. I put a piece of transfer paper over the top of it, okay? And then I just cut it out. Now, when that's done, I'm going to wait for it to dry, and I'm going to go back in and put another piece of transfer paper over it, and then draw the checkers in. Now, what this does is it kind of makes it a little bit easier. Uh, you don't, you're not, you're not trying to replace pieces. So let's get started. I'm going to get this shot in white. That's going to be the, the the first color. Always light to dark. Remember. So we're going to do the, the light first, the white, and then I'm going to mask this all off so it doesn't get the rest of the car white. And then I'm going to wait for a little while, and then we're going to put the black in. So hang tight and check it out. Alrighty, now it's white. That's the first coat. I'll put another one on. And then the next photo you'll see is more of the transfer paper over the top of it. And we'll cut out the checkers and get ready to do the black. Well, there's your carbon fiber checker. See how that turned out? Uh, just doing the black. Now I'm going to go back in with the white, a real thin mixture of white, and just highlight some of these areas. Then I'm going to go back in and darken this around here so it looks like it's pushed back in there. And then when it's done, we'll put the Corvette lettering over the top of it, and there you go. That's how you do it. Let's, I can't wait to see what it's going to turn out like, so we'll be back shortly. There it is. It's all done. All the highlights are done. And uh, just so you know, it's not out of character for it. <laughs> or, you know, if you put it up here, it looks like it's not perfect. Well, it is. The measurements are all been perfect and everything like that. So it's right in the dead center and uh, and everything looks good. Now all we got to do is make sure our letters are center in the center of that Chevy emblem and we'll be set. So that's it. Now I did shadow this and I'm going to go around and shadow the front and the two side uh, pieces. I did put the side pieces on. Uh, I, I, I like these badges a little bit better than the other ones. I don't know if I showed you yet, but I'll show you now. So I'm going to shadow underneath here. And it'll kind of make it pop a little bit. And then I'm going to shadow underneath this just a little bit so it makes it makes it happen. So that's where we're at. And uh, probably keep on going tomorrow. I'll probably have this uh, uh, the, the Corvette lettering on it here shortly. And it should look really, really, really badass. I love it. There it is. All done in a nutshell. That's how it's supposed to look right there. Needless to say, when people see this rolling down the road, they're, they're never going to see anything like that. That's what the whole asset of that car is going to look like. Um, a lot of plain stuff, but the, the artwork is definitely going to uh, jump out at you. Um, but that's what it's all about right there. Uh, again, at the end of the uh, video, on the second video, or whatever video we uh, end up being on, um, I'm going to put it on YouTube, Dave's uh, phone number, so make sure you check it out. He is really good at what he does. All right, I kept this pretty simple. Um, kind of like a racing stripe. Now you can remember the emblem right there. This actually comes right down to the emblem, so it'll point into the emblem. And it's just kind of like a racing stripe. I think the reason why I did this was because the checkers on the back are blocked. So if I run these checkers kind of like that, and these checkers kind of like that, then it'll look uh, kind of symmetrical and, and keep the car, you know, straight. I, I kept trying to figure out how I could do one up the side like I did before, but it just wasn't happening. It wasn't working for me. So this is what we did. It'll uh, have a yellow stripe down the middle, and I'll bury it just like I did the back, and it'll, it should just set up real nice and uh, be somewhat of a simple paint job, but still pretty killer. So. Um, that's what we're doing. I'm going to lay it down. Uh, we'll get the black and white checkers and then uh, I'll kind of go through with my uh, carbon fiber. Uh, just so you know, it's the same as everybody else's, but a little recourse won't, uh, you know, like a recourse for you. It's not going to hurt. Um, just different ways of doing it. So we're going to get it on film. So um, this is uh, two coats of white 
And again, light to dark, and we'll get the checkers on it next, and we'll just go from there. Okay, I thought I'd do this. I'd tr shut the fan off just for a second. Um, anytime you got yellow <laughs> and you're shooting black, it's almost dangerous, so you got to be real careful. Uh, the best way to do this is with a, uh, a, a bigger airbrush, something that you can really, um, uh, you know, make happen, uh, but not spray paint everywhere. I use my HP uh, TH for this. It's my bigger airbrush, and I'll just kind of give you a little thing. I find the, the white ones that I got to do, and I just blast a little black in there. Now see this one here, sorry, I gotta try to make this all happen. I gotta push this down because it's coming up. And you wanna get that done as quick as possible so it doesn't come up. I'm trying to look at the camera and do this all at the same time, so excuse me if it's not perfect. But you kinda get the idea. I wanna make sure that each square is black the tapes are, are down because I don't want this to come up and look look uh, crappy. You know what I mean? So you got to get it done and you got to just take your time with it. So I'm going to concentrate on this because uh, I don't want to screw it up, but that's how you do it. That's how I do my checkers. Uh, remove all the X's and uh, start spraying. But in a, again, in, a, in an environment where unless you want to tape off the whole car and I really don't feel like it. so. I can actually save myself a little headache and just do it one square at a time. So, and I ain't got nothing but time. So anyway, uh, that's how I do that. We'll get the carbon fiber on it and it should look pretty bitchin'. Now I'm in the part of tearing off all the paper, but I gotta leave this edge, this paper, so I can do all the airbrushing, uh, the shadows and so on and so forth to make it look right. So I'm gonna tear all this off and it'll look like that. And then uh, I got those to take off there. And then I'll go around and airbrush all the depth in them. And then all the shadows coming down off uh, the front. That way it looks like it's raised above a little bit. And it uh, should look pretty, pretty cool. All right, we'll check it out in a minute. All right, it's all in. We got her done. So I say we unwrap it. See what, we, what we're looking at. Looks pretty bitchy. We'll soon see how real bitchin' it looks. <laughs> see you in a second. There it is. It's all lit up. Got the shadows on the bottom, just where I wanted them to be. Got the carbon fiber all the way through. It just really turned out really good. I'm uh, kind of contemplating what to do right alongside this edge. Something's got to happen. I just don't know what but I'm sure it'll come to me. But uh, I don't want it to stay plain, but it definitely looks the way I wanted it to look. So uh, I'm really, really tickled with it. So we'll soon see what I come up with tomorrow. I'm tired, I'm going home. A little quick walk around the uh, Corvette. I finished up those emblems, got all the shadow underneath of them. Again, the back is all done. I'm just really, uh, I'm really tickled with this project. Uh, can't wait to see what the owner thinks of it, because it's a whole lot different than what it looked like when I got it. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm gonna finish up this video. You can check it out, and then uh, I'll uh, have some pictures of it on the website here before long. I gotta update my website, so. Uh, but this is basically it, in a nutshell. So we'll have some pictures of it later and you can check it out on the website. Uh, this is Rod, Wildfire Graphics. Thanks for watching.